So the first thing I want to show you today is an overview of the model and the finished interface. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to jump into Google Chrome, where you can take a look here at the simulation that we will build. And so the first thing you see when um, you're looking at a multiplayer game is the uh, option to enter in a nickname. This, of course, occurs if you're not logged into the IC Exchange. So here I'm going to just enter in my name, and it presents me with a list of sessions that I can join, actively you know, uh, created sessions that I can join in order to play a game with others. I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to call it Billy's Session. And so now I'm in it, and I'm waiting for other players to join. In this simulation, there are three roles, Google, Amazon, and Apple, where Apple is a role that doesn't need to be filled by a human in order for the game to proceed. Um, we're only waiting for somebody to take the role of Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the URL, open a new tab, and paste it. And in this tab, I'm going to uh, take on a persona as John Smith. And John Smith now sees the session that I created in the other tab, can join it, and is brought into the game as Amazon. Now that we're both in the game, we can each say that we're ready to start, and the game will begin. The game begins um, in such a manner that we can see who we are by looking at the name of the company that we are in the upper left-hand corner. We can look at the market share for this product that we're selling. In this case, it's a Chromecast-like device for streaming movies and uh, videos uh, to your TV from your computer. You can see what the unit price is for each of the three companies, as well as the subscription price uh, that we will charge our customers um, to use our device. On the Company Info tab, you can see that we have an indicated market share, as well as a cumulative profit graph for each individual company. If I enter my John Smith persona in the other tab, you'll see now that I am Amazon, that I'm looking at the same information here on the dashboard. So in this model, some information is shared across all players. Whereas when I go to my company info page, you'll see that my cumulative profit graph is actually going to be showing me cumulative profit for Amazon rather than Google. So the beauty of wildcards is that it lets us build this page once and change the data that's displayed in it for each of the different roles in the simulation. So as Amazon, I can make the decision to increase my price a lot. I'm going to try and make some money here. And uh, back in, the, in my Google persona, what I'm going to do is keep the price of the um, product cheap, but I'm going to raise the subscription prices. When both um, players have made a decision, you'll see that the game advances and that when we go to the company information pages, um, that we have different profits um, and uh, you know, the indicated market share has changed.